So starting with this video, we'll create our own org structure for doing our exercise for warehouse management um, course. So first we'll create our own company code and we'll keep, try to keep everything separate from the other standard uh, company codes and plants in the SAP system. So let's start with the company code. So this is not a uh, MM or FI training, but still we'll talk uh, briefly about the company code. So the topic we're going to cover in this video, they are describe the functions of company code and customize a new company code and link a company code to a company and also the FICO relevant setting for the posting periods and all that. So in this video, we'll start with uh, creating our own company code. And then we'll, in the next video, we'll move on to the purchase org and plants and all that. So what is a company code? So the company code is the central organizational unit of external accounting within the SAP system. The business transactions relevant for financial accounting are entered, saved and evaluated at the company code level. The company code is an organizational unit used in the accounting. SAP recommends that copy a company code from an existing company code. So when you create your own, it's recommended that you copy from the existing one. And in, in actual, in the real time scenario, usually a uh, FICO consultant will be customizing the company code. So creating a new company code. So these are the steps I have written down. So first you need to create a company code using this menu path, or you can straight away use the transaction EC01. And then the second step is you need to assign the company code to a controlling area or using the transaction OX19. So let's, let's start some customizing here. Okay, so I'm in the customizing screen, SPRO and all that. So here you can go to the enterprise structure, then you can go to definition, open definition, then financial accounting, and then edit, copy, delete, company code. So here, if I open this, click the first one, copy, edit, delete. Click on this copy icon on the top, click on it. So from the company code, use the thousand number company code, which you can see in your idea system and to your new company code. So give it a new name. You can, as you know, you can start with the um, name as um, Z or Y. So here I'll, I'll use Y. So I'll call it Y, uh, Y, uh, W M S. So warehouse management system, just to keep it separate from. Y. So why? copy this and this usually takes a while so it's asking me whether I want to copy all the general accounts and all that just say yes for now just say yes and target currency I can make it USD so just say yes for this message Now start copying all the data because there's a lot of data, general ledger account and all that. So this might take a few extra seconds. So just wait for it. And then in the next, next step. So next step, we'll, we will be assigning the company code to a controlling area using the transaction OX19, or you can use this menu path. So it's asking for a transport request. If you do, if you see a blank here, you can see a number here, but usually if you see a blank here, as you know, you need to create a transport request. Click on this create button, create request, and give it a name, for example, uh, whatever you're trying to do. Um, I'll call it uh, WMS org structure. 
click click on the save button create a number for you and just say okay It's nearly done. Just say OK again. OK again. Cancel cancel this for this message if it's not proceeding. An error, there's an error, just say copy for now. If there are some, some issues with the other company code from where you're copying then obviously you will get the similar error but we'll try to keep it error free as much as we can in parallel I will open one more screen and we'll open the transaction to link it to the controlling area OX19 so this is nearly done okay so you can see completed activities you can see why WMS is done so if I go back if I Cancel this. So, uh, if you go to the define, uh, okay, let me open this one again. Edit, copy. You can edit, click on the second one, edit company code. And here you can search for the one that I just created for your company code Y WMS. So, that's the one you can double click on it. Here you can click on this icon on the top for if you want to change the address. So, change it if you want. So it will show you the address that it got copied from the other company code. So you can change the address if you want, otherwise you can leave it like this. So cancel this. You can also change the currency here if you want. Go back, go back. Now the next step is we need to assign it to a controlling area. So here is the controlling area. So we can see the menu path from here. Assign company code to controlling area. This one under controlling, assign company to controlling area. So here we use a standard controlling area, say 1000. And click on the assignment of the controlling area here you can click on new entry you can see all the company codes are assigned here you can I can click on new entry and assign YWMS press enter and save it second step is done select your request like we created before go back 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 okay then we have the next step as so let me open, close the other screen this one we don't need it then we need to do some posting period relevant setting so to do this you need to define a variant first and then assign the variant to your company code so This should be a variant. Let me fix it. So let's create. So we need to go to the financial accounting new and then financial 
under ledger go to the financial year posting period then posting period open this define variance for posting period so if i open this so we need to define a posting period so for example from you can copy thousand copy to a new one called say y i'll keep the same name ywms variant say ywms press enter save it go back and then assign variant to your company code so if i open this i need to search for my company code which is y wms so here you can see it already copied to from the thousand so i'll assign y wms enter save it and the next step is as a part of this third step here we need to do some open and close posting period settings so that's the next step here go back open and close open the third one open and close posting periods okay so here we are so we created a variant and we need to copy from the standard variant so here you can search for the other variant which is thousand so let me show you so here's a thousand so just copy all these entries so we don't need to worry about what they are for but that's for financial posting and all that so copy all these entries which is saying thousand click on the copy button and copy it to your variant which is y w m s copy y w m s And make sure you make the future year to year you can see whatever year you can see here you can copy this to say make the year a big number in the future say 2025 or 2030 just something like this whatever system will accept so that we do not face any posting period error later on And let's leave everything as it is press enter and click on the save button and select the transport done so once you're done go back one more thing you need to keep in mind is there's a transaction called if you have already mm background you might not know about the mmpv transaction so if you face any uh, error regarding the posting period then um, you need to check the mmpv transaction for a company code so if i go to the mmpv mmpv transaction so here every month you need to enter your for example you need to enter your company code here ywms for example and select the date here and close the previous posting period and open the new one so here for example whatever the date is you can select your date from here and enter the date here whatever the date is and then you need to check and close up posting period every month so starting from the first of every month so if you you need to do this only when you face any error regarding posting period if you do not face any error still fine and if you still know if you still don't know what to do how to fix it just google for it whatever the error is so you, you will get the answer so that's it so that's all about you can that's how you can customize your own company code so just a recap what we have done we learned about the what is the function of the company code what's the purpose and the how to customize our new company code and all the relevant settings so for assignment uh, i wish you to customize your own company code and like you have seen in the video copy it from the existing company code assign your company code to a company say for example thousand and 
maintain the posting period setting as we have done in this video and please google if you face any unknown error because i know there can be some posting period error that you may face alternatively you can use a standard company code code which is thousand so that's all about this and thank you very much to watch this video so we'll, we'll see you in the next video